Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Christmas Buildcraft 6 episode. Fantastic, I hope you are all well today. Hang on, I'm trying to look for my key to get out of this mode. There we go, hey, hey. In first person, mew, view, mew. <laughs> it's a great start. It's another morning episode, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 24th of December for me. So, um, happy Christmas to all my Scandinavian family. Hey, hey. And we'll probably have some hours, uh, some more Christmas for us today or tomorrow. Anyhow, enough of that. This is going to be a reasonably short episode because it is a Christmas time. You can see we have a little Christmas time texture pack, which was um, partially courtesy of uh, Jai Fish. If you check out the uh, Fishcraft episode that's going to come out tomorrow, we had a little bit of a Christmas special um, each year. Fish likes to do something a little bit fun for us to do on the Christmas server. On the Christmas server? On the Fishcraft server at Christmas. Anywho... Go check that out tomorrow. Um, looky, looky, I have, I have myself a kinetic tool, and I have it with the excavation attachment and the drill head, so we can um, dig mud and cut stone without any issue now, which is phenomenal. You can see I'm barely carrying anything around with me in my kit. Oh my god, yeah, we're down to our last two pumpkin pies as well. Things are getting dire, so thankfully, I, um, we did have apples for when we were producing oak wood, so that's something now. This hasn't been running long, but it has been running well. I'm very happy with this. And the one thing I'm going to do this uh, episode is a suggestion by one of our viewers, which is fantastic. The dude was very correct in his uh, his query. He simply said, why don't I attach the wooden box out there to this one via a pipe? And when this is 75% full or less, it just sends a signal to get more wood. And I was like, you know what? I wanted to do it with robots, but these robots, these robots, them robots, them robots, they ain't behaving We've got the woodcutter, the picker, or sorry, the lumberjack, the picker, and the planter are all doing amazing work. These guys are phenomenal, and they are producing a lot of wood. Oh, God, I've got a white snotty nose. Hang on. Better. Um, these guys, however, are not. The picker, uh, sorry, the carrier, and the delivery guy. Neither one of them is performing at all. So, um, yes, we're going to get a pipe. Now, if we're going to get a pipe. Ooh, kill him. Words. We're going to get a pipe set up to do the business, and I want it to be pretty pretty quick pipe so we're going to use gold um, assuming I've got some gold left because I've used a lot I use a lot of gold and a lot of the redstone to um, build a new quarry down there because uh, I got silly or well, you know it became silly trying to uh, dig through all of this top layer of rubbish here because you don't really get anything you can see here you get a little bit of coal a little bit of iron nothing much really happens until you get to the lower levels so we now have a quarry with my little pinky shifty we now have a quarry going all the way down there and it starts just there and is currently digging its way through nothing it stopped there's nothing coming through Ooh. all right let's turn the power off to that because that will suck it up did i get any diamonds from that at all you rotter all right well no diamonds but we've got ourselves a few emeralds and a few more bits of iron i can't believe there's no diamonds i'm gonna have to go reset the quarry down there into another position now. Oh, goods. Oh, well, that's all good. No diamonds, though. Not so good. Um, we wanted to get an emerald pipe going around here anyhow, because what I want to do is get an emerald extraction pipe, I think. Yeah, so we're only gonna we're only gonna extract the wood that we want. So hopefully this will be enough. We're gonna need a ton of that. Um, probably a gate or two. I think the pulsar will do. See, we might have to do. Is seventy-five percent might work, but there's quite a distance between round robin extraction pipe. No, that's not what I want. What I want is the one that's is it the mal the emul zimulai. <laughs> you know the one, <laughs> the one that allows you to extract using um, like a gate. So you can say I only want to use pull everything out that's blue, or anything that belongs to the blue filter. Sorry, I know what I'm talking about. Email Zulai pipe. I don't know. We'll make it, and then and then we'll find out. How's that? <laughs> so we're probably going to need. I suspect it's something like this. I think it's this. Let's have a look. Im M Zulai. There we go. M Zulai pipe. Cape controlled extraction pipe. Bada boom. That's the Jiminy. Now, uh, I wonder. Wonder why? Why I don't have the gate I'm looking for? Oh me, oh my! Um, I don't know if we can, for instance, use a cheaper gate 
to control the extraction of this or do we need to have at least nah that's good that's good that's good what we do need is uh, an and gate with a pulsar then uh, oh no <laughs> oh when things get difficult let's see if I can actually make one do I have a chip set I might have I do have one of them and uh, we could have used the Chloric. we've only got the basic gate at the moment alright let's nick let's quickly knock those two together this should work and this is just like I say for the delivery system for the wood so that we can um, get this going and you're probably going to need some power as well aren't you Dink. so I have also with the um, I've got this charging station essentially because of the kinetic multi-tool so in here we've got a kinetic capsule which you place inside here and that charges it but it looks like it has a constant drain so I probably want to move that somewhere else or give it its own on off switch I reckon let's have a look how this is doing and we're almost there oh I'm used to having so much more power available <laughs> oh man it's good though this system I'm so so happy with that little engine block it really is working beautifully come on come on oh man it's a struggle right now let's mm, let's see do we have we should have a little I've got a little bit oh, I do have some gold left thank God for that uh, we've got tons of gates pipes there that should do let's see how this works now we have a tunnel built ready to roll um, mm, <laughs> something oh was it ragged builder it might have been something that was mentioned was that you can now dye pipes and I'd forgotten this but by dyeing pipes you stop them from attaching to each other. I've only got yellow dye. That's a little bit disappointing. I suppose we could try it with yellow. Shall we try it with yellow? Let's try it with yellow. I want to see how this works because I have not done this at all yet so this should be interesting. It should give the glass sort of a coloured tint which would be nice. Now is it like this? Whoa! Yellow transport pipes. Alright let's get a few of those. That's interesting. Hmm, that is interesting. Okay, so now maybe if I understand this correctly, we should be able to use yellow ones and that oh, nuts. Nuts. I thought it was <laughs> maybe it doesn't connect to other golden pipes. Nope. Nope. I don't know. I'm I'm not sure now. I I don't know what the uh what I'm supposed to be doing with that now. That's weird. Okay, well let's get rid of that. That's what have I done wrong? What have, am I just misunderstanding something? I'm be bouncing around like a loony. <laughs> Jumping around. Oh well, in the meantime, back at the ranch, we're going to get ourselves some good old plugs. Maybe, ah, maybe that one needs to be a coloured pipe too. So two coloured ones, but a coloured one will always attach to a transparent one. That sounds about right. Never mind. That's all good. So let's grab this here. I haven't got really time to do much more. I don't need an autarkic one at this end, God damn it, all I need is a check to say let's just have the one, that should do all I need is a check to say, you know, if we're 75% full, send a redstone signal so, if we squeeze you in there, no let's chop that out, the nice thing about the multi-tool is it will choose which tool head it needs to use for any given task which is handy, you're the wrong freaking gate again let's put you up there, there we go Let's see, professional build crafter, obviously, obviously. Um, right, so you, nope, no, not yet. We need some gate wire around that. That's awesome, look at that. So we're saying you, if you have... Mm, 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 bugger, 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 bugger. Why can't I do the less than 75% here? Does it need to be an emerald gate? That would be absolutely shocking. Oh, maybe I can't. Okay, all right, all right. One last try because obviously, me and Gates, we're the best of buds here. Come here, give me that. So we've disabled that completely. Oh, I was going to show. Oh, never mind. There was a there's a weird little green lights on and off thing that was going on, sort of flashing red, uh, green and yellow on top of the little landing pad thing for the robots. I know I'm making a lot of sense. It's all good. Now there we go. If it contains less than seventy five percent of wood, uh of wood if it's asking for something let's give it that if we've got less than 75 percent of that send ourselves a red pipe signal and that's that my god what a palaver 
Honestly, so one, two. I want to make sure we're going to keep that going as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. Let's do this real quick. Dee -dee -dee -dee. So it is Christmas. Um, and what have you done? <laughs> Another year over. A new one just begun. Ah, uh, Lennon. That's probably way older than a lot of you guys. <laughs> but it's a great tune. John Lennon, Christmas time tune. Anywho. Um, yeah, amazing. Amazing that it's come to the end of the year. What a hell of a year it has been. I'm not going to lie. It's been a tricky one, to say the least, for me personally. But we have made it. So far, so good. And uh, yes. So uh, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I guess, happy holidays of some description. I honestly don't know. I've never really done this sort of Christmas thing to an international audience before, so forgive me if, if you don't celebrate Christmas and you are watching this and I keep telling you to have a great Christmas. So there. <laughs> right, we have all of this connected up. Holy moly. Uh, hmm. Let's see if I can't uh, get myself killed because it's night time. Excellent. Ooh, a robot. That was a robot. Fantastic. Right, so this guy mm -mm -mm, is the wrong gate. Uh, no, he's the right gate. If we're receiving a red pipe signal, then we want to get the blue going, and we're going to say pulse it. Energy pulsar on blue extraction, and then on the pipe itself, where's me wrench? We're going to say, uh, oops, I don't need wrench, do I? We're going to say the blue one simply extracts wood, and we're not even going to color it. We're just going to leave it in there. So hopefully. There's a whole ton of stuff coming out now. My only concern, like I say, was because it's got so far to travel, is 75% going to cause it to top up too much. Let's have a look. So the wood's coming through in short, sharp pulses. Oh, let's have one of my last few pies. Lovely. And it is very, very slowly filling this up. So I think that's actually going to work fine. <laughs> it's going to be a while before this is full. Look at it all come down though, that is awesome and it's only wood thanks to that email Zulay pipe. Email, 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 I'll get it one day. It doesn't matter, it's not too important. But there we go, so that's cool. Once this fills up to 75% or thereabouts, it should stop extracting wood from the other box. I actually don't know how much we had in there. Ah, oh, curses. You just watch me get blown up by a Christmas creeper. No, we're good. That's phenomenal. Well, there we go. It's going to keep extracting the wood. That's great. So we can just leave this kind of running now. It should tick over quite nicely on its own. And that's really it for this episode. I didn't want to do too much. Like I say, I haven't taken too long gibbering away. I just wanted to get a little one out. And I wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody who celebrates it. And I hope you have an awesome time. It's, uh, yeah, I really do think um, if you're with your family, you have a wonderful time. If you're on your own for whatever reasons, then, you know, Merry Christmas to you too. I don't know. Again, once again... I have an international audience, and I don't know who does what out there. So, whatever you're doing, whoever you are, wherever you are, have a fantastic time this holiday, if you want to a, for want of a better term. And, oh, here's my little quarry that I set up. There we go. And that's it. Yes, like I say, have a fantastic time this holiday, and I will see you, hopefully, between the new year and now. If not, then in 2015. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a real quick episode. But, uh, yeah, that's it. We have our production going. I can quarry away quite happily now. I'm not really entirely sure what to do next here. So if anybody's got any suggestions for um, something fun and quirky to do or just something interesting that they want to see built in this little Buildcraft world using the old Buildcraft goodness, then do let me know. Drop me a note. Let's see if we can get some ideas together for next year to build up some cool new stuff in this crazy little world that we've got going. But once again, I want to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me this year. Have a great time and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.